Hello and welcome to my driveway and welcome to my Suzuki Sears. Well, I mean, technically it's not mine. I don't actually own it, but it has been assigned to me as a long-term test car and I've been living with it for a month now. So here's what I like and don't like about the Suzuki sedan. I've been living with the top of the range GLX model and it costs 229,900 Rand. But you can get into the Sears range for 203,900 Rand. And for that price, you'll be buying quite a well specced car. But for the extra 26,000 Rand for this GLX model, you don't actually get that much more stuff. The most notable added extra is the leather upholstery. It really makes the car feel a lot more luxurious and upmarket. You also get electric retractable side mirrors and 16 inch alloy wheels. And that's about it. Uh, let me just stop myself right there. I forgot to mention that this model also comes with keyless entry and push button start. But no matter which Sears you order, you'll get electric windows all round, power steering, automatic climate control, a radio CD with Bluetooth audio and telephonic communication, a trip computer and a multi-function steering wheel. There's no touchscreen or sat nav available, but to be honest, these days, as long as a car has Bluetooth, I'm not too worried about all the other bells and whistles. You can just use your smartphone anyway. Although seat eaters would be nice and park distance control which you can order as an optional extra here's the Sears's real strength though fuel consumption now recently while I was away I lent my car to my colleagues and they've ruined my consumption average a little bit which is really annoying but up until then, I was averaging 5.8 liters to the 100. Now that's town driving. And in terms of real world consumption, that is the best consumption figure that I've seen on a petrol powered car. And there's no wizardry under the bonnet. It's just a straightforward 1.4 liter non-turbo petrol. It's the same engine that you'll find in the Suzuki Swift. The Sears has a properly large boot at 495 liters. It's actually bigger than the boot you'll find on a BMW 3 Series. And we found it particularly useful, especially on airport runs and that sort of thing. It absolutely swallows suitcases. Look at that. Goes in vertically. And Suzuki have still managed to fit a full-size spare in there. But bear in mind that the rear seats do not fold down at all. A hugely impressive aspect of the cabin is the huge rear legroom. With the driving seat in my position, I'm still miles away from it. Look at that. It's like a limousine in here. And my family have really enjoyed journeys in the back seat. Rear seat passengers are also treated to a armrest with drinks holders and their own air vents. Right, time to complain. The driving position is just too high. I feel like I'm sitting on the car and not in it. And then that 1.4 liter engine, it is frugal, but it's also quite low on torque, only 130 Newton meters. You don't really notice it around town, it's actually fine, but where it does become a bit of an issue where you notice that lack of grunt is out on the highway, especially loaded up with passengers and luggage. I found myself having to gear down to fourth, even on the most gentle hills. But unfortunately, our Sears did arrive with a suspension issue. It wasn't too serious, a stabilizer needed to be replaced, but the part took two weeks to arrive. And while we waited for it, we had to put up with the front left suspension, making a bit of a dull knocking noise over bumps. But other than that, I'm really enjoying my time in the Sears. It's a lot of car for your money. It's got a really spacious cabin 
generous amounts of tech and of course excellent excellent fuel economy and Suzuki throws in a three-year 100,000 kilometer warranty and a three-year 60,000 kilometer service plan which means that your first four services are included in the price which is a real deal sweetener in terms of safety this isn't Suzuki's best product it only has two airbags and when you consider that the Suzuki Swift has seven but it does have ABS and EBD as well as stability control so that's not too bad Suzuki fared very well in our Cars.coza consumer satisfaction survey. Suzuki owners tell us that they're very happy with their cars and the after sales service. After all, it was our brand of the year. We think they have a very strong contender here for cars like the Toyota Corolla Quest and VW Polo sedan. We think the Sears is an option you should consider if you're looking for an affordable family sedan. Let us know what you think of the Sears in the comments below. Thanks for watching.